ਸਤਿ ਕਰਤਾਰ ਵਾਹਿਗੁਰੂ ਜੀ ਕਾ ਖਾਲਸਾ ਵਾਹਿਗੁਰੂ ਜੀ ਕੀ ਫਤਿਹ ਨਮਸਕਾਰ ਸਲਾਮ ਅਲੈਕਮ ਬੋਨਾ ਬੋਨਾ ਸੇਰਾ ਇਟਾਲੀਆ ਐਂਡ ਵੈਰੀ ਗੁੱਡ ਈਵਨਿੰਗ ਇੰਡੀਆ ਅੱਜ ਟੁਡੇ ਯੂ نو ਇਟ ਇਜ਼ ਮਾਈ ਪਲੈਜ਼ਰ ਟੂ ਇਨਵਾਈਟ ਔਰ ਟੂ ਹੋਸਟ ਇਨ ਥਿਸ ਕਨਵਰਸੇਸ਼ਨ ਬਟ ਇਟਸ ਅ ਪੋਇਟਰੀ ਰੀਡਿੰਗ ਸੈਸ਼ਨ ਆਲ ਬੀ ਯੂ نو ਇਨ ਕਨਵਰਸੇਸ਼ਨ ਵਿਦ ਵਨ ਆਫ ਵਨ ਆਫ ਇਟਲੀਸ ਟੌਪ ਪੋਇਟਸ ਔਰ ਯੂਰਪ ਸਟੌਪ ਪੋਇਟਸ ਸ਼ੀ ਇਜ਼ ਨਾਟ ਔਨ ਦ ਸਕਰੀਨ ਸੋ ਆਈ ਕੈਨ ਆਈ ਕੈਨ ਸੇ ਥੈਟ ਸ਼ੀ ਵਿਲ ਬੀਟ ਮੀ ਆਫਟਰਵਰਡਸ uh maria grazia calandrone and uh yeah. and uh something uh important as i shared with you is that uh in the course uh, why am i here i am stranded in rome because i was doing a project with the indian embassy uh, in rome we were we had planned a concert uh, i worked two months uh, curated wrote music for the first time for for an ensemble i set up an ensemble with the instruments uh renaissance of the renaissance period uh, of the times in guru nanak traveled and is set to have come to europe also syria and europe so um, i was very great grateful to um, monica donofrio of rai tre and of course nello delgato one of the top journalists who is based out of jerusalem when they introduced me of course and then they all said well if we if i need to have the uh, guru nanak's uh, gurbani translated into italian there's one person that they thought okay. of is maria grazia calentone so maria uh welcome welcome to Hi. to the batek series yeah this is the 19th yarana version batek series and i am so glad that we could we could get together oh it's me i am a little embarrassed for my english and for to be alive in live this <laughs> is very I'll, strange I'll, I'll, i'll tell you a secret even i don't speak very good english <laughs> and the <laughs> second secret me. is i i barely can speak my own language punjabi i'm a fauji kid i'm a military child so we were all we basically no low language but we pretend to know all the language <laughs> so and my secret i safe, am not alive you are in safe custody <laughs> you're in safe yeah. custody <laughs> so uh yes. allow me to just introduce you uh, and then i'll read out uh, uh, your your work a fantastic contribution Uh, Maria Grazia Calandrone is a poet, playwright, journalist, performer and writer based in Rome. Uh, she presents cultural programs on Rai Radio 3. Most recently, uh, her show is called Poesia in Technicolor. Uh, it's a bilingual in Technicolor is English, Poesia is Italian. So I catch you guys. Uh, yeah. contributes <laughs> she, she contributes literary criticism to Poesia, Il Manifesto, Corriere della della Sera and 7. Uh she leads poetry workshops in schools. I had a chance in fact I took photographs when she was uh you know hosting one of the very very fantastic I mean it was a fantastic uh, uh day a beautiful day outside but hundreds of children inside and you guys were reading poetry and you made uh you had children presenting their poems it was very uh, as I watch watering so I know exactly what you do uh by way of the poetry workshops in schools and uh you also go to prisons and mental health health units uh, Mor- uh maria grazia volunteers with the piccoli maestri children's reading center she directs the interview series e volontari and a video reportage about sarajevo for uh, corriere tv her books include pietra di paragone 1998 uh, la schimia Rondaggia. Did I read it Shim- right? <laughs> yes. The Shimia Rondaggia. A monkey. Rondaggia. Monkey, Cr- monkey uh, without a head. Let's say you won the Pasolini award for that. Yeah. And uh, come uh, come per mezzo di una briglia ardente from you know in 2005, la macchina responsi- responsabile in 2007, sulla bocca di tutti uh, Napoli. and uh, you had awards uh, in napoli sassari and prata awards in 2010 this was out uh, atto di vita nascente uh, 2010 la vita chiara in 2011 uh, serie fossile uh, marazza and tassoni awards you're quite an awarded person Ooh, <laughs> i should be very embarrassed no uh, no you know I, you. My, in my in my country some good people come and they give me honors i take them then some stupid people come and they start killing minorities and other people and wrestling so i return the awards so i i i play the game of these 
So then they get frightened and they stop giving me awards. They said, oh, this guy, if we give him, he uses like a weapon. So we should not honor him so that he will not dishonor us afterwards. But anyway, <laughs> that was my little spank at those who, uh, you know, who question the freedom of speech uh, uh, and who, who, who do not, uh, who disenfranchise uh, the, the, the um, acceptance of diversity. I mean, of, of uh, honoring all diversity as if we are all one. Anyway, that's another thing. Let me come to reading your <laughs> reading your <laughs> award gathering and your books and publications. No, it's not... Uh, say that again? No, no, no. It's not important the prizes. And no, also the... the, 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 the I'll finish it now. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So she wrote La Vita Chiara in 2011. <laughs> in, uh, Sierra Fossilia, yeah. as I mentioned, she, she won the awards. Uh, is comparsi storie de... Uh, storie da chi... La visto. Chi la visto? Yeah, what did uh, you see? Chi la visto? Uh, what have you seen? Yeah, yeah. It's, a, it's a, a television program. I see. And then Where, we won the yeah. Desi, you know. Desi Award uh, and Il Bene Morale uh, Corcetti 2017. And we won the Europa and Trivio Award. Uh, Giardino della Gioia Mondadari 2019-2020. This is recent. The translations, fossils and the Arabic anthology. Um, uh, no, Fossils was in Ireland, 2018, Serie Fossil uh, in 2019, and uh, the, the translations uh, uh, of Nora Albert, and the Arabic anthology, Questo Corpo, Questa Luce, uh, in 2020, in Damascus, uh, the pseudo-novel, L'Infinito Mello, Mello uh, with an audio CD of her oh. readings, that's, when, that's, that's very interesting. Per Voce Sola, a collection of dramatic monologues, drawings and photos with a CD by Sonia Bergamasco and Estrio 2016. And Un Altro Mondo, Lo Stesso Mondo, uh, Una Riscrittura del Fanciullino di, wow. fanciullino <laughs> di Giovanni yeah. Pascoli. What is the way, 2019? <laughs> Grazie. I take all the credit of... <laughs> Reading whatever little I can in Italian. She is also a short story. This is going to be one funny introduction of yours, isn't it? I'm, I'm messing up plenty in it. Uh, but she has also written short stories and um, uh, numer numerous anthologies and edited and introduced Nella Novelli's poetry volume O Camminato nel Mondo con l'anima aperta in 2018 and Dino Campana Preferisco il rumore del mare. Uh, in 2019, in 2017, she appeared in Donatella Balivo's uh, documentary Il Futuro in Una Poesia, and in Israeli filmmaker Omri Lior's Poems with a View project. Her poetry has been translated in over 20 languages. And her website, of course, you can check her out, mariagraziacalandrone.it, that, that is dot .it. Uh, that is Maria Grazia Calandrone, and as I said, that she was very kind, in sparing time, you can see she's quite a busy person, not an idler like me. Uh, but she took time out and in record time, I think just a, like a week, you translated five of Guru Nanak's verses, which I'll be very, very glad to share with, uh, with our friends uh, and listeners and for all those who will access the recording uh, for times to come. So, Maria, I'm grateful that you could join us. I'm grateful to you. And... Uh... I am. Um, uh, I, I I can read something uh, about uh, my yes. There are too much books. <laughs> too much books. I I I only spend one word about uh, the work in uh, school. Um, I I think that the poets um, have to to go out uh, institution institutional uh, society of poetry. Uh, and they they have to come in prisons. They are not, not in prisons, <laughs> in jail, not right. in jail itself, <laughs> but to uh, to make workshop uh, in prisons, in schools, because I think that uh, um, uh, through the words uh, they can uh, explain something about uh, knowledge uh, and uh, emotional knowledge and uh, a critical view about reality. And I think that this is very important. 
that in this moment uh, of our life uh, we 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 could uh, um, change something. We could change something uh, in in this world that is uh, upset, totally upset in this moment, and uh, we can uh, come through this. Uh, upsetting and uh, make uh, something uh, uh, better i hope i hope and we have to go to work we have to uh, yeah. strongly work yeah. yes yes but and. i uh, i do agree uh, in the sense that to the extent that uh, uh, the kind of uh, abuse of our planet uh, its yes. natural resources has yes. been made in the name of modernization, in the name of, uh, yes. you know, development. Money, in the name, in the of, main, economy. In the name of economy. Economy, yeah. only economy. It, yes. We have and destroyed all, it all. Which is it. simply greed. I translate it as greed. Um, uh, economy or call it greed. And uh, they are talking about profits every year. And in spite of the fact that they are producing more trash than the, uh, yes. the produce that is actually used by, by the world by the world at large. This, I think, virus, uh, I see is a, I, I take it with, a, with, a, with all gratitude. It has paused the global economy. It has stopped all production like never before. Uh, it has placed people back in and animals and plants and trees and clouds can be free. Waters uh, in, in Venice are clear. You can see fishes and, uh, you know, jellyfishes. Uh, yes. Even if it is for a short while. But I think it is given strength to the voices of sanity, to those who have been calling that we need to have a sense of propriety, that we, we should, our, our use of our Mother Earth should be proportional to the need that we have, our needs of the day. We should not abuse it or exploit it more than our need. So I think that balance, it will empower our voices that it is possible to reduce production. It is possible to not run for profits more and more and more profits every year. There should yes. be some plateau of production. There should be some plateau. There should be a ceiling. You cannot, like a plane flies. It takes off and goes up, but then it, it, it you know, it settles down and then it goes on that pace until it's time to respond. But we are trying to economy. They don't just want to make the graph higher and higher and yes. higher. They don't want to plateau. They don't want to settle. I think this moment in history, in entire human history, is very important. Uh, that it's gone so long, that people have died and people don't, un until you, you look at religion, how it works. It gives you fear. It says, oh, you know what? You must, have, you committed sins, that's why you're born. Oh, you know what? If you do not do this, 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 and you do not, uh, you know, uh, serve us as different religions on the planet, you're not going to go to heaven. So that is one fear that has ruled and commanded a lot of money and greed and control of the, uh, you know, the, the nations in a way, controlling governments, the way religions have controlled governments. For the first time, life itself became, you know, people became frightened without the idea of religion. They, be, they have been frightened to die. They've been frightened of this virus, which you cannot see, which you cannot touch, but it can come and get you. So I think for the first time, a different kind of fear has taken place that all the religious places, be it Makkah, be the Vatican, be the Golden Temple, be the Hindu temples, be the anything, they're all closed, they're all shut. And one has seen the limitation of the idea of religion, the idea of spirituality has taken root now. I hope people will become more spiritual, more sensible, more sensitive, more intelligent, more wise, and they will look for experience over hearsay, over hypotheses written by somebody which is untested, which is unrefer unrefereed, etc., etc. I'm sorry for my long blah, blah, blah. No, but, no, uh, no, no. I think I, it's a very I important agree. moment in history. I agree. And uh, I, I, I listened to uh, um, an interview uh, to Salgado, uh, the, the great photograph photographer and uh, uh, she he says that uh, we in this in this moment uh, we can uh, know what what we need re what we really need we are, we have uh, only uh, we are alive if, if we are alive is a, a big thing we can uh, see that uh, to be alive is a big thing we have uh, this uh, opportunity to, to know uh, 
the importance of our our lives. And I think that the po poets, uh, a lot of poets, uh, are saying this thing uh, from <laughs> millennia and uh, from the yes. eternity. And uh, yeah. the, uh, and uh, but they, they don't listen. They they, <laughs> they don't listen. yeah. <laughs> They don't listen, but but for this reason, uh, the poets have to go out uh, the institutional. Uh, and uh, I'm here. I, I, if I am a poet, I'm here in the web uh, to say uh, silly things, perhaps, but to try to say something. And so, let's come to poetry uh, now. Uh, Talking of yeah, poets. I, I, uh, we can start. Uh, we can start from uh, <laughs> ancient time, <laughs> and uh, one of the first books. And uh, uh, I can read uh, two poems from uh, uh, from the ancient time of <laughs> of my production. This one: un immenso lenzuolo sepolcrale sulla gran cassa del mare, dove l'inanimato agisce. E il mare avvampa verso il bianco azimo del branco umano che imita l'arsura dei gabbiani e il gregge, vacche, del colore del sole malinconico, un campo brado di dolcissimo latte, spiagge schiuse da un lutto secolare in avaria sulla terra non completata dal deserto rintocco del sole e piena di mughi. Può solo essere santa perché sull'isola è il vuoto. La terra senza vista, senza candela di animali, e nel globo dell'alba vibra l'ascia infelice del polso fino all'osso dell'albero. Una croce di silenzio e rompe nel coro sacro, nel profitto di erbe estinte che sanno di cratere. May I read the English translation? Yeah. yeah. It was. A vast winding sheet over the bass drum of the sea. A vast winding sheet over the bass drum of the sea where the inanimate is at work. And the sea flares toward the unleavened white of the human flock that apes the dry heat of the seagulls and the herd. Cows, wheat colored in the melancholy sun an untamed field of sweet, sweet milk. Beaches hatched from centuries of mourning, out of kilter, on an earth left incomplete by the wakened chime of sun and full of lowing. It can only be holy because on the land all is empty, earth without sight, without the glow of animals, and in the orb of dawn, the sad aches of the wrist hisses down to the bone of the tree. A cross of silence bursts out into the sacred chorus, into the gleanings of extinct herbs that taste of crater ash. Mm. Fantastic. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you for your reading. This is a, a poem about... Uh, Sardegna, uh, Sardegna is an island. Yes, island. Yes. Yes, island, and uh, I, I see, and uh, in that in that moment, uh, I, I was into the nature, completely into the nature, I and uh, grateful. <laughs> yes, and uh, the other, the the second. Thank you. The second poem is about uh, uh, is a, like a prayer, I think. Uh, is um, uh, 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 words dedicated to uh, word again. Um, and uh, I was young, and uh, <laughs> I was in love with word. I see. Per la yeah. Per l'anima bianca che ci sorregge e le romantiche rose. Per ciò che lentamente si corrompe e interrompe il suo sonno apparente tra i manipoli verdi di sole, per quest'angelo dai calcagni d'oro che prende dai serbatoi, dai mulini e dalle legnaie, nel fumo che si alza dalla terra scavata, mentre sente arrivare lo scontento e sopporta lo stesso misterioso sorriso delle fruttifere, per il legno da fuoco che porta il contagio tra i filari, 
distoglici dal fatto della morte. Il corpo è nulla che pensa all'infinito, melo nel sole che si versa sul cuore della terra a corpo libero con l'ossido dei rami, la ruggine e la materia robusta di insetti dai corpi luminosi e immortali. For the white soul that holds us up and the romantic roses, for what slowly decays and breaks off its apparent sleep, among the green hand handfuls of sun, among the green handfuls of sun, for this angel with golden heels that takes us on the flavor of the reservoirs, of the mills, and of the woodsheds, in the smoke that rises from the excavated earth as it feels discontent arrive and endures the same mysterious smile of fruit-bearing plants for the firewood that carries contagion through the rows, divert us from the fact of death, the body is nothing, thinking of the infinite, apple tree in the sun, pouring itself out on the heart of the earth, moving free with the oxide of branches, the rust and the sturdy matter of insects with glowing immortal bodies. Thank you. Yes. Uh There is a version with music of this uh, this poem. Really? Oh. Um, and uh, there's a there's a sig there was a signal loss. Can you repeat that again? There was a signal. There's a signal problem. Yeah, we are, I I see. No, I say silly things. <laughs> I see that. Uh, We, the, the meaning of these poems uh, is that we are uh, flesh and body, but uh, we can, uh, we can uh, imagine uh, the immortality. We can imagine, um, uh, perhaps it doesn't exist, but uh, exists in our imagination and is enough to, to be happy, to be enjoyed. Right. And, and how was the song? Because there was a signal problem. I could not hear you hum. You sang it, no? Did you sing the song? Yeah. Can you yeah, sing it again? We, lost, we, we could not hear you. <laughs> we could not hear you. The signal had gone. Ah, okay. Okay. Um, no, I say that we are... Uh, uh, but is enough uh, to, uh, to imagine to be enjoy for being joy. Yes, yes. It's enough, uh, it's enough to be able to imagine the immortality uh, to be enjoyed, I think. Yes. And uh, I say also that uh, there is a, a version with music about this uh, uh, poem. I see. In con concert, concert, concert. And if you want, you can sing something for us. <laughs> I will, I will come later. Too, <laughs> yes. too much more later. <laughs> yes. You can you can we'll stop the 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 I need to request, uh, is, are, are the are there other people using the internet at home? Because the signal is dying out. It is not the same. Is your uh, server, is your uh, Safari or Firefox or any, any web browser on on your computer? Can you close yes. the web browsers? Because they can take a lot of uh, bandwidth. Yes. And, uh, no, it's closed. Here it's closed. It's closed. I, I, I see. Any? Sorry, I see here. Ah, okay, yes. The camera moved now. Okay, yeah. So, okay. Um, yes, it's better. 
Is there uh, anybody Madam. else who's using the internet in the house? You can you want to tell everybody not to use uh, for a, for a few minutes. Okay, I, <laughs> I have to call. <laughs> I need to get my other. I, I go. I go. Is that trouble? But I I go and I return. You're doing some technical. <laughs> So, uh, so uh, I can understand that some people are saying that they don't understand the language. But it's the fact that we have in Guru Granth Sahib, there are 24 languages, 120 languages. And our first one, and the Italian, and Latin, and Sanskrit, and Punjabi, there are a lot of languages. For example, when we say, you are saying, you are saying, you are saying, you know, you are saying, you are saying, you are saying, this is not Italian. तो कौन है स्टाइल तो किस तरह है भाई तो ये बहुत सिमिलरिटीज है कि याने पंजाबी दे बीच इटालियन दे बीच तू नू तू ही कहने ने ठीक है सो सो ये आपा सुनना होता है जिधे नाद है क्या जिधे आपा शादा वो सुनना होता है देन ऑफ कोर्स आई बी रीडिंग इन इंग्लिश दी ट्रांसलेशंस वेरेवर एप्लीकेबल तो अनु समझ आ रही है कि नहीं आ रही है समझ आप आनंद लेना है क्या आप आपने आपनी सूझ बूझ विच वादा ही होना है क्या यस योर बैक परफेक्ट सो यस आई एम हियर यस आई वाज जस्ट टेलिंग विद सम पीपल वर मेंशनिंग वी डोंट अंडरस्टैंड द लैंग्वेज आई वाज जस्ट शेयरिंग विद देम दैट आर स्क्रिप्चर इटसेल्फ how similar the Latin and Sanskrit and Punjabi and Italian are uh, in that sense. Uh -huh. Similar, the similar sounds. Uh, there are many, many similar sounds. Okay. So what's next? What What are you sharing with us next? Um. Uh, ah. Ten years uh, later, <laughs> uh -huh. there is a there is a um, a love poem. Oh, I see. Yeah. And uh, uh, no, 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 not else to explain is yes. is clear. <laughs> L'anima mia è un dio umano, un uccello d'altura, che ogni notte nidifica nel chiaro del tuo petto come un endecasillabo perfetto, cosa bianca e copiosa, ala sottile, rosa e roveto, cenere, parva, tra stelle profuse. Bianco sangue di spugna tubolare nel bianco planetario, bianca tigre seduta ai bordi della bianca strada senza dolore. L'anima mia cresce dalle tue ossa, come una rosa da una lingua viva, a stille, a emorragia, dal tuo alfabeto inimmaginabile. Ma è da questo corpo, dalla sua silenziosa mietitura che viene il verbo. Questo pane assoluto che ti offro, questa bellezza viva fatta per te. This is 2015, la serie fossile Crocetti, and it says per, per Alba, it's a love poem. Uh, My dear heart is a human god, a bird from the highlands, nesting night after night in the pale glow of your breast like a perfect and decasyllable verse. Uh, I don't know the word. Hendecasyllable? Hendeca? Like Hende perfect? Hendecasyllable. Ah, uh, hendecasyllable. Uh, it's a, a, a measure, measure of Should rhetoric. Uh, uh, my, dear rhetoric. Heart, my dear heart is a human god, a bird from the highlands, nesting night after night in the pale glow of your breast. Like a perfect syllable verse, soul thing, white and so lavish, slight of wing, rose, and bramble, ashes, parva, among squandered stars, white blood, of a tube sponge, in the white planetarium, white tiger sitting by the side of the white painless road, my dear heart grows from your bones like a rose from a living tongue 
in drips in a hemorrhage from your alphabet beyond picturing but it is from this body from its silent harvest that the word comes this absolute bread i offer this beauty so vivid made for you but i think that also the words come uh, come out from from the body yes yeah. <laughs> it's beautiful you agree yes <laughs> you agree they do they do it churns out yeah. it it yeah, churns yes yes and like cream <laughs> yes the words yes. form <laughs> all is the same thing yes <laughs> and the fourth poem is um uh, about the crash of the bridge yes, uh, yes. Genoa. it's very tragic yes bridge. Genoa, yes yeah and um it's difficult to 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 uh, to, to write about uh, um actuality and uh, i write the same day uh, as uh, august 14 uh, 2018 yeah 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 and um i read and uh, you, you can uh, do yeah. point shroud for genoa ah no sorry <laughs> in italian <Yes>. poesia suda <laughs> Poesia Sudario per Genova. Il Sudario si chiama Sudario perché assorbe gli umori dei morti. Viene deposto sul volto per nascondere allo sguardo dei vivi il lavorio della morte, nei lineamenti amati le infiagioni e lo scavo finale, la riduzione all'osso che riporta la materia conclusa di un corpo nel non finito dell'altra materia, all'indistinto delle zolle e degli astri. Il sudario è deposto per pudore sul volto, perché quel volto smetta di finire sotto i nostri occhi. Così vorrei che le parole, poiché non possono asciugare davvero neanche una goccia del vostro sangue, ricordassero almeno la vita, il celeste profondo o la rosa canina fra i paranchi che vi ha fatto sorridere per la sua ostinazione d'essere viva nel cantiere perpetuo del porto luminoso di sole morente o l'altro sole, la grandezza radiale dell'alba sollevata tra guizzi di reale come un rinascimento. Mondo contemporaneo, che vai a morire tra i gabbiani delle periferie e sotto la rotazione della via Lattea come una verde insonnia dell'universo che non ci guarda mondo che sei questo infinito esistere che non contempla i mortali senza nome e cognome torneremo cose tra le cose senza involucri e senza nostalgia ritorneremo all'indifferenziato delle stelle ma adesso adesso che siamo vivi. A shroud, a poem shroud for Genoa. Uh, e nani dasea ke eh jado Genoa de vich bridge to tiasi, ode vaste nani likhi si. A shroud is called sudario, sweat cloth, because it absorbs what seeps out of the dead. It is draped over the face to screen the living from the sight of death's patient scouring of those beloved features. The swelling and the final excavation, the paring down to bone, that brings a body's concluded matter back to the unfinished state of the other matter, to the jumbledness of mud clouds and causes. Of the decency, a shroud is draped over the face to stop that face from ending up before our eyes. Just so I wish that words, which cannot really wipe away with one drop of your blood, might bear witness at least to life. The deep sky blue or the dog rose between the boat hoists that made you smile at how it was so doggedly alive within the endless workyard of the port, a glow with dying sun or that other sun. The radial grandeur of dawn rays amid flittings of reality like a renaissance. Contemporary world growing to your death among the seagulls on the city fringes, under a milky way wheeling like the green insomnia of a universe that isn't watching us. Your world of infinite existencing that does not contemplate mortal creatures, 
without first name or last we will turn back into things like other things without wrappings or nostalgia we will return to the unsorted heap of stars but now now that we are alive very powerful but we have to use our our life yes. yeah and the the last poem is uh, a, a uh, explanation about my uh, poetic uh, thinking um and uh, i i have i understood um uh, the expression of dante intelletto d'amore intelletto d'amore uh, to to go through the world with the mind in the, and uh, with the emotion both together and i think i imagine i suppose that dante um, uh, means uh, to see the reality with both our faculty not only with the uh, feelings and not only with the reason and i write this poem to for about this intelletto d'amore la poesia è anarchica risponde a leggi solo proprie non può e non deve piegarsi a nient'altro che a se stessa la sua legge interiore è ritmo musica assoluta questo spiega la commozione che proviamo nell'ascoltare letture di poesia in lingue noi sconosciute Abbiamo l'impressione di comprendere anche se non capiamo le parole, perché le nostre molecole consuonano con la musica della poesia che è la stessa in ogni lingua. Un ultrasuono, un rumore bianco, una lingua invisibile, un ronzio, una approssimazione, una sonorità che entra in risonanza con la parte più estranea e profonda delle nostre molecole e col rombo primario della materia che compone la sedia sulla quale sediamo. Come certa musica, penso al chiaro di luna di Ludwig van Beethoven, è un linguaggio letteralmente universale. I poeti lo scrivono da sempre, ma le recenti scoperte astrofisiche lo confermano con rigore scientifico, non più solo intuitivo. Il nucleo più profondo di noi è composto dalla stessa materia delle stelle. Parole di Margherita Hack. Tutta la materia di cui siamo fatti l'hanno costruita le stelle, tutti gli elementi dall'idrogeno all'uranio sono stati fatti nelle reazioni nucleari che avvengono nelle supernove, stelle molto più grandi del Sole, che alla fine della loro vita esplodono e sparpagliano nello spazio il risultato di tutte le reazioni nucleari avvenute al loro interno. Dalle scoperte ultimissime sappiamo ancora che metà degli atomi che formano i nostri corpi è materia prodotta fuori dalla Via Lattea, viene da una distanza che non si può commensurare. La vibrazione delle nostre molecole entra in risonanza materiale con la vibrazione dell'universo fin dentro l'universo sconosciuto. Questa forza che muove il sole e le altre stelle è quella che Dante chiama amore. La poesia intercetta il corale profondo e ininterrotto di questa forza, intona la sua voce a e rombo prima this been a, uh, there was a uh, uh, little um, loss of audio would you mind reading uh, from the vibration of our vibrazione the last paragraph if you can read uh, we, we lost yes. the sound actually La vibrazione, de... yes. la vibrazione delle nostre molecole entra in risonanza materiale con la vibrazione dell'universo, fin dentro l'universo sconosciuto. Questa forza che muove il sole e le altre stelle è quella che Dante chiama amore. La poesia intercetta il corale profondo e ininterrotto di questa forza, intona la sua voce al rombo delle stelle extragalattiche, 
e al rombo primario della materia che compone la sedia sulla quale sediamo. È un oggetto fatto di parole, sempre d'amore. E basta. Poetry is anarchic. It follows only its own laws. It cannot and must not bend to anything except itself. Poetry is anarchic. It follows only its own laws. It cannot and must not bend to anything except itself. Its inner law is rhythm, pure and simple music that explains why we can be moved by poetry we hear, read in languages we do not know. We almost feel that we understand even without grasping the words because our molecules ring a consonants with the deep music of poetry, which is the same in every language, ultrasound, white noise, an invisible language, a nuclear hum, translatable by approximation, a sound that resonates with the deepest and the most alien part of our molecules and with the primal rumbling of the matter that makes up the chair we're sitting on. Just as, just as certain music, Ludwig van Beethoven's Moonlight Sonata comes to mind, is a literally universal language. Poets have written this forever, but recent discoveries in astrophysics confirm it with scientific rigor, not just intuition. Our deepest core is composed of the same stuff as stars. According to Margarita Hack, all the matter we have made of was built by stars. All the elements from hydrogen to uranium were formed in nuclear reactions that take place in supernovas when stars much bigger than the sun explode at the end of their lives and scatter into space the products of all nuclear reactions that have taken place within them. Very recent discoveries also tell us that half the atoms making up our bodies are, in, are matter formed outside the Milky Way, coming from a distance impossible to measure. The vibration of our molecules comes to material resonance with the vibration of the universe, far beyond the universe we know. This force that moves the sun and other stars is what Dante calls love. Poetry tunes into the deep, uninterrupted chorus of this force, pitching its voice to the rumbling of extragalactic stars and to the primal rumbling of the matter that makes up the chair we're sitting on. It's an object made of words, of love alone. That's plenty. <laughs> That's beautiful. Theo, thank you for a powerful reading. Very, very good. Oh, okay. I don't know if it's true. We, we, can, we, can, we can test now if it's true that uh, the sound of poems in, uh, in other languages are, are no, uh, touching yes. our molecules. It does, they do, they do, absolutely. Absolutely. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. No, thank, thank you very you. much. <laughs> yes. Uh, so, um, can we um, uh, share uh, uh, some of the work that uh, we did uh, uh, with the Gurbani of uh, Guru Nanak's, uh, you know, the, 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 the five renditions that I had chosen uh, to, to read? Yes. Uh, shall we do that? Yes. Yes, I have. But uh, you can. So yeah, I have uh, um, every everyone, all all five, and uh, you can choose where uh, you can read uh, before in English or uh, you read in Punjabi. Uh, uh, I can. Uh, um, no, we don't need to read in English, so we can skip the English part. Um, okay. Uh, I didn't have time; otherwise, I would have translated or I would have requested uh, one of the senior. Uh, poet friends to translate your uh, uh, poems into Punjabi as well. Maybe we'll do it for another time. Uh, okay. uh, that's why okay. I mean I read in English because there was the Punjabi was not available. But in in the uh, original uh, we can we can because you translate it into Italian. And yes, it is translated translated from Dr. Gopal Singh's uh, translations, um, which I could not fully vet. There are there were some. Uh, you know, approximities, but uh, yours, as we have written in the brochure as well, these are, and later on we will update them as well. Um, 
So I'll read uh, in, Gur, uh, in Gurmukhi or in the original language that the Guru, uh, the first Guru of the Sikhs, uh, uh, you know, Nanak Shah Fakir, Hindu ka Guru, Musulman ka Peer, uh, wrote. And then you can just recite in Italian. Uh, uh, can I start with the um, first one? Uh, in, uh, the one that you wrote was uh, Ragauri Beragan. Okay. Um, which one do you have? Say, the first one. Which which one do you on have? On the, the grace. Oh, oh, I have on the grace of the one supreme being. No, that is the first word, but uh, it does it say rag? Okay. Uh, what is the next line? Uh, the supreme being, the eternal, the all pervading Purusha, the Creator, without fear, yes. without hate. Yeah. yeah. And uh, this one. No, or, that is the that is still the preamble. Um, okay. The, the one that uh, uh, the main text of that, the first the, line the, of the text. The, the 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 next one is I become a dear. Yes, that one. Yes. Okay. So yes, we are the same. Info. That's the first one. Okay. Yes. Yeah. So I'll read uh, uh, that one, and uh, that is Harni Hova Banuvasa. Kandumul Chunkhao. Do you have the English di uh, diacritics written? Yes. So just tell me the first line uh, when we read so that I will read the same text uh, uh, that you will read next. Okay. In, in English think, or in Italian? I, no, you will read in Italian, yes. I will okay. read in Gurmukhi. It's just to tell you okay. that I'm reading the same thing that you're reading. Just uh, read okay. the English diacritic just one, for me to. Line. Yeah, one line. Yeah. Now I, this one I understand. So I'll read now okay. in, in, in Gurmukhi or, or in the okay. original Alf Gurnanak. Okay. Ra Gauri Bairagan Mahala Pella Harni Hova Bani Vasa Harni Hova Bani Vasa Kand Mool Chun Khao Gur Parsadi Mera Saho Milae Vari Vari Hau Jau Jiyo Mai Banjaran Ram Ki Tera Naam Vakharu Vapar Ji Rahao Kokil hova ambi basa, kokil hova ambi basa, sahaji sabad bicharu, sahaji subhai, mira saho milai, darsani rupi aparu, machuli hova jali basa, ji jant sabi sari, urvari pari mira saho basai, hao milogi baha pasari, nagani hova dhar basa, sabadu basai, bhau jai. Nanak Sada Sohagani Jin Jyoti Jyoti Samai. What's the music? Yes. <laughs> Diventerei un cervo, prosperando in terre boscose e vivendo su radici prescelte. Se per grazia del Guru conoscessi un giorno il mio Signore per il quale sono un sacrificio, sono il venditore ambulante del Signore e faccio affari solo con la mercanzia del tuo nome. Sarei un coel al riparo di una pianta di mango e dimorerei in pace nella parola se incontrassi con semplice intuito il mio signore di indescrivibile bellezza. Sarei un pesce, abiterei le acque, se ricordassi il signore che tutto regge e potessi abbracciarlo in un abbraccio stretto e vederlo qui e lì e ovunque, sarei un serpe che vive sotto la terra». Se la melodia della parola mi possedesse e allontanasse la mia paura, Nanak, lui solo per sempre benedetto, la cui anima si fonde nell'anima tutto. Beautiful. Um, the, uh, the composition of this one goes... Uh,
तेरा नाम वखर वापार जी मैं sing the first stanza harani the dear harani ho va ba sleeping and up working producing this uh, virtual barak series has been a shocker i didn't realize i'll have to get so busy to be able to curate this so pardon my voice but uh, just to give you an idea of how the composition uh, we the concert got postponed on the 7th of march or uh, whatever cancelled maybe but we'll see but uh, yeah. we will hopefully get to do something in the near future Uh, shall we yeah. do the next one uh, rag gaudi purbi deep ki yeah. uh, the sohela this is uh, by the grace of the one super being the no, eternal that is the, that is the, yeah, well, the i need the first line uh, if you can tell me just the first line of that after this one supreme being the next line uh, uh, okay in the whatever dwelt upon and his name recited attain to to state to meditate upon him and sing his praises sing the praises of my lord fear free i am a sacrifice yes, unto I the see. song so it is the sohela yes i see okay. i got the text now okay a, so i'll uh, you will recite in italian then i read or uh, i'll read the i I'll, I'll, re, i'll read first yes, yes first rag gaudi yeah. yes rag gaudi purvi deep ki mahla pehla ek omkar satgur prasad जय घरी की रति आख करते का होई विचारो तितु घरी गाव हो सो हिला शिवर हो सिर जन हारो तुम गाव हो मेरे निर्भव का सो हिला हौ वारी जाओ जित सो हिलय सदा सुख हो रहाओ नित नित जियड़े समालियनी देखेगा देवन हारो तेरे दाण की मति ना पवै तिसुदाते कवण सुमारु संबति साहा लिखिया मिलकर पावहु तेल देहु सज्जन अस देहु सज्जन आसी सड़िया जो होवै साहिब सो मेल घरी घरी एहो पाहुचा सदड़े नित पवन्नि सदण हारा सिमरियै नानक से देह आवन्नि Wow. Is a dance. Uh, yes. Yeah, the <laughs> soul. Very yes. very good. Very good. Per la grazia del solo essere supremo, l'eterno, l'illuminante, in qualunque stato mentale abbia dimorato Dio e il suo nome sia stato pronunciato, mantieniti in quello stato, medita su di lui e canta le sue lodi. Canta le lodi del mio Signore il senza paura. Sono un sacrificio dentro l'inno che porta a casa la mente. Lui che ogni giorno ci protegge e veglia su tutti lui i cui doni sono inestimabili. 
come potremmo allora giudicare il donatore? Il giorno del mio incontro è deciso. Versate olio sulla soglia, amici miei, e beneditemi, perché io raggiungo l'unione con il mio Signore nelle case dappertutto, il Corriere ci chiama ogni giorno. Non dimenticate colui che vi chiama che il giorno arriva per tutti. Yes. Um, the melody of this one goes uh, um, this was the one you read was by the uh, in whatever state of mind is God dwelt upon, no? In the first mm -hmm. that one? In whatever state of yeah. mind is God dwelt? Okay. That one. And um, yeah. Yeah. Um, yes. Jag, it's in 15 beats, this one. Jag har kirat aakhi hai Kar de ka hoi vicharu Jag har kirat aakhi hai Kar de ka hoi vicharu Pit ghar gaav ho sove la Simro Sirjan Haru Tum Gavu Mere Nirvau Ka Soe La Tum Gavu Mere Nirvau Ka Soe La Havari Jao Jit Soe La Sada Sok Hoi Havari Jao Jit Soe Lai Sada Sok Hoi Jit Mangao Mere Nirbhau Ka Soe Lai Nit nit jiyad samaliyan Dekha ega devan haar Tere dhana kiemat na pavai Tis da te kavn sumar Jito mangavu Mere nirbhau ka soe la संवत साहले के आ मिल कर पावो तेल दे हो सदन आसी सड़िया जो हो वै साहेब स्यो मेल दो मंगावो मेरे निर्भाव का सोए ला घर घर ए हो पाओ जा सदने नित पवन सदन हारा से मरिया नानक से दे आवन तुम गावो मेरे निर्भाव का सोए ला हवारी जाओ जित सोए लाए सदा सुख हो एजी हवारी जाओ जित सोए लाए सदा सुख हो एजी तो मंगावो मेरे निर्भाव का सो
Yes. So, so the next one would be the season of spring. Uh, in in in. Uh, yes. 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 Okay. Okay. Mahalla pehla basant. Ruti aile saras basant mahi rangi rati ravi se te ray chai kis puja charavo lagau pai. Tera dasani dasa kaho rai jag jeevan jugati na mila kai rahao. Teri murati eka bahoto roop kis puja charavo deo dhoop. Tera antana paya kaha pai. Tera dasani dasa kaho rai. Tere sati sambat sabiti ratha. Tera sacho naam paramesara, teri gati avigati nahi jani hai, teri gati avigati nahi jani hai, anajanat naam vakhani hai, nanaku vichara kya kaha hai, sab loku salah hai, ek sa hai, siru nanak loka paav hai, balihari jau jete tere naav hai. La stagione della primavera è arrivata. Fiorisci, uomo. Sì, quelli, gli imbevuti di Dio, pronunciano il suo nome con gioia. O oh, a chi altro dovrei inchinarmi e offrire fiori? O oh, mio re, vita di tutta la vita. In nessun altro modo sei raggiunto se non attraverso il tuo nome. Questo proclama Nanak, lo schiavo dei tuoi schiavi. Una è la tua presenza, manifestata come molti. Quindi davanti a quale delle tue forme devo pregare e bruciare incenso? Non si può concepire l'immensità della tua gloria. Questo proclama Nanak, lo schiavo dei tuoi schiavi, o oh re. Attraverso gli anni, in tutti i luoghi di pellegrinaggio, ci sei tu, o oh Signore. Solo il tuo nome è eterno, vero per sempre, o oh Dio degli dèi. Il tuo stato è non stato e perciò non può essere conosciuto. Eppure, anche ignorandoti, il tuo nome deve essere pronunciato. Cos'altro posso io, povero Nanak, dire mio solo Dio, poiché tu, l'uno solo, tutti lodano e abitano? Dice Nanak, metto la mia testa ai piedi di tutti gli uomini. O Dio, io sono un sacrificio a tutti i nomi che hai. This is a This is the, uh, the 
custom of singing this composition. This is the first part of the composition that I have rendered, and the others will follow in the same melody. Yes. Uh -huh. So we go to the next one. Now we go to the yeah. arti. The arti. The uh, the sky is a silver. Yes. Yes. Um, isn't it fantastic? This Tagore translated also. It was the first uh, thing at age, I don't know what, 12 or something, that Tagore, Rabindranath Tagore, the Nobel laureate, translated into Bangla in his language. Uh -huh. his language. Yeah. And he called this as the, uh, as the anthem of the whole world, like, like the Italian national anthem, the Indian national anthem. He called this composition the anthem of entire humanity. Mm -hmm. uh, this uh, actually the anthem of the earth because it talks about the sun and the moon as it yes, lands okay. then in, in its worship. So I read in uh, the original in Maithili language that uh, Guru Nanak sang this um, and he sang it in, in a protest because of the privileged worship in a temple that they would not allow commoners and they would say that uh, this is how worship happens. So. The actual worship is uh, the one he mentions about. Not a problem. I've got you. Yeah. And uh, uh, the other camera is gone. Not a problem. Yes, sir. We'll manage, we'll manage with one. Not a problem. And um, so the um, uh, this composition is in Rag Dhanasari. I read the original. Dhanasari Mahila Pehla Aarti Ekonkar Sadgur Prasad Gagan Maithal Uravichandu Deepak Bane Tare Ka Mandal Janak Moti Gagan Maithal Uravichandu Deepak Bane Tare Ka Mandal Janak Moti Dhoop Malayan Lo Pavanu Chavaro Kare Sagal Banarai Fulant Jyoti Dhoop Malayan Lo Pavanu Chavaro Kare Sagal Banarai Fulant Jyoti Kaisi Arati Hoi Bhavakhandana Teri Arati Anahata Sabad Vajanta Veri Rahao Sahasatava Nainan Na Nain Hai Toeko Sahasatava Nainan Na Nain Hai Tohi Kao Sahas Murutin Na Ek Tohi Sahas Pad Bibalan Na Ek Pad Gand Binu Sahasatava Gand Ev Chalat Mohi सब मही ज्योति ज्योति है सोई तिस कै चाननी सब मही चाननु होई गुर साखी ज्योति परगटु होई जो तिस भावै सो आरती होई हरि चरण कमल मकरंद लोभित मनो अन दिनो मोहि आहि प्यासा कृपा जलु देहि नानक सारिंग कौ होए जाते तेरा नाम वासा Per la grazia del solo essere supremo, l'eterno, portatore di luce. Il cielo è il vassoio, il sole e la luna sono le lampade, le sfere delle stelle vi sono incastonate come gioielli, i venti profumati di Chandan soffiano dalle onde delle montagne malai e spargono ovunque l'aroma di miriadi di fiori. Così avviene la tua adorazione, o oh tu distruttore di paure, la tua non suonata melodia squilla e fa musica delle parole come dalle labbra dolci di un flauto. Mille sono i tuoi occhi, ma hai tu occhi? Mille sono le tue forme, ma hai tu forma? Mille sono i tuoi piedi di loto, ma hai tu piedi? Mille sono i tuoi nasi per odorare, ma hai tu un naso meraviglia delle meraviglie? Tu sei lo spirito che tutti pervade. È la tua luce che illumina tutti i cuori. Attraverso la saggezza del Guru la tua luce brucia. E ciò che ti compiace diventa la tua adorazione come l'ape nera. Io desidero giorno e notte il miele dei tuoi piedi di loto. Concedi a Nanak il chatrik, il nettare della tua misericordia, o oh Signore, che egli si fonde nel tuo nome. Ah, <laughs> 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 
structure of the aarti as uh, sung by your uh-huh. uh, your <coughs> so um thank you so much for for sharing these uh, uh, you know for doing the translation that i hope that we'll get to do some more work and uh, once the uh, you know lockdowns are lifted maybe we'll get to uh, get together with our friends at the indian embassy uh their excellency the ambassador mrs veenath sandhu and uh, you know uh, the first counselor everybody worked so much um uh, the uh, museo della civiltà you know uh-huh, uh, yes. professor massimiliano uh, poliketti he worked so hard uh, dr laura giuliano was personally looking into it and everybody else including dr francesco so many uh, who worked we worked really like a month and a half to curate it and suddenly this virus came along and i hope that we'll be able to get together uh with the with uh with the whole uh, uh team again and uh, curate the festival also now to as a matter of thanksgiving and also to conclude the centenary 550 50th birth anniversary of guru nanak now we'll be soon uh, beginning the concluding ceremonies of the anniversary year and um and this of course this batik series anything that the my foundation is doing is dedicated to guru nanak this uh, batik series is uh, uh dedicated to him and of course is is marking uh, guru nanak's birth uh, birth anniversary so i hope that we will be able to do some more work and uh, i hope that you will be ever so kind again and again and again when i come to you <laughs> knocking please can you translate this into italian yeah. that you will not say sorry i am busy i hope i don't get to hear that from you <laughs> no nah, in this moment i am without work <laughs> my, no, <laughs> okay. i'm not busy no you're lying yeah, you're all uh, teaching through online yeah, and everything yeah, you're just kidding you're just joking yeah 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 yeah, yeah. <laughs> I think it's uh, people are in fact more busy they more because the, it's a change of medium we are so used to just pick up our books and go and teach now we have to handle technology and uh, yes manage everything so before uh, we go bef- yes you were saying something 
No, 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 nothing of important. As I, I, I said, I, when when I was on the train, uh, I sleep. Now yes. I am not on the train. <laughs> on the train. <laughs> I never sleep. Yes. <laughs> I, never, I can't sleep yeah. on the train. <laughs> yeah, not <that's> true. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, with children, with a daughter and son, you know. So uh, you, you're you're a ooh. mommy. So I know that that's uh, that's the other poetry of life, isn't it? Yeah. Um, being a mommy. So my, my uh, so some small questions now. I mean, yeah. what brought you to poetry? Why are you writing poetry? Why mess with words? Eh? Why are you writing? Why are you writing poetry? Uh, Tell me about write... yourself. Why are you messing with language and words and le parole? You know. Uh, I I don't know. I start to uh, like uh, um, um, pictures. Yeah. Uh -huh. But uh, and my mother became blind. Well, blind. You were an artist. You were drawing. Yes. Uh -huh. And and I I think that if uh, uh, if I want to share something uh, of artistic with her, I, uh, my only chance was to to write. Oh, to write. I see. Yeah. How beautiful. I am a, a kind girl. <laughs> <laughs> yes, your mommy would so be so much proud. kind girl. Yes. <laughs> so you left your colors and pencils and brushes, yes. and you picked up yes, a pen but, to write on paper. But now, now I use for the videos, and uh, I, I like I, I I come back to photograph and to the to drawing. Oh yes, you do. So yeah, you pu yeah. publish some stuff yeah. like that. Yes. Yeah. That's wonderful. Yes. Yes, and yes. You're, you're, you've, uh, so you're glad that your mom had that uh, problem that turned you into a poet. That's what yeah, you're saying. Uh, <laughs> I don't know. No, 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 no. She, <laughs> she, she says every time, uh, Carmina non dant panem. With poetry, don't bread. <laughs> poetry, don't give bread <laughs> to, to the poets. And right. it's true. It's true. But the passion is. Uh, you know. Yes, I know. So, um, I know this is, I think, uh, uh, fantastic. I'm trying to look for my translation of, in a pile of papers. <laughs> I thought of uh, reading out uh, uh, the, um, you know, uh, uh, I was telling, uh, I wanted to tell the friends that uh, the song, I think I read out once, but uh, uh, not in this format. This becomes more formal. Um, let me find the, um, there's a very, very important poem and I will like to give a shout out to uh, Stefano Roffi who messed with me. He said that, why don't you plan a song, uh, uh, you know, a, uh, you know, O Sole Mio for, the, for yeah. the concert. So we, it just started as a joke. He was just kidding. But then I took it seriously. I did a lot of research on it, and uh, um, and then it was uh, it was quite a quite a job. I mean, I really enjoyed uh, uh, writing it. Um, and where is it? Um, so, do you mind? Yes, here I found it in my pages. My I don't know what this is. My uh -huh. work of these months. A um, lot of music uh, written. I don't know what. 800, 900 pages, and I found one. Well, I could be a magician. So, mm -hmm. uh, would you mind, uh, uh, or oh, would you kindly read the O Sole Mio text, and I will, yeah. uh, I will write. So, what I did, I, you know, I'll t I want to tell everybody that I, when I wrote, uh, it's, it's a song is O Sole Mio, ke, uh, that oh mere oh mere suraj, that it's the sun, and we just read Guru Nanak's sun and the moon. So it's either the sun or the moon. Oh, yeah. So, but in India, in India, of course, or in the tropical areas where near, near closer to the equator, we all hate the sun. Like you love the sun here. Well, in Italy now it's becoming warm, not so much <laughs> again. But you go uh, to the St Scandinavian countries, they don't see the sun for six months, or, or they only see light, they don't even get to see the sun. So here, when you talk of uh, 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 moon or you talk of clouds, rainy clouds and the peacocks are dancing, they get frightened and say, what are you doing? Why are you talking about clouds? <laughs> so here, I also changed the simile, the, the whole, um, the, the parable that is used, the drishtant or the, uh, which is used. Um, uh, so I did that. Instead of the sun, the, 
um, the beloved's face is the moon face, not the sun face. Uh, so I changed that. Uh, and I called, uh, after I'd done the work in the night, uh, uh, I think I started, I finished that, uh, if I may, at uh, 1.39 uh, a.m. on the 3rd of uh, March. We are at Gemelia, Rome, you know, staying at uh, yes. Institute, of the South, uh, Institute of South Asian Studies, hosted by Dr. Valerio Del Monte, Tiziana, uh, Dr. Tiziana Ranzati. So I was just sitting here writing and I ended up, I just picked up the pen and I ended up, this is my original, huh? this is like without huh. any cuts. I just went on writing, writing, writing and this is it, this is the original, right? Original calligraphy on paper and I found that. So let's, let's, you read the uh, Italian In and then course. I'll, then let's In do that. <laughs> okay. Che bella cosa una giornata e sole. Naria serena dopo una tempesta, per l'aria fresca pare già una festa, che bella cosa, una giornata e sole. Ma nato sole, più bello in e, o sole mio sta in fronte a te, o sole, o sole mio sta in fronte a te, sta in fronte a te. Quando fa notte e o sole se ne scende, me viene quasi una malinconia, sotto a fenestatoia resta ria, quando fa notte e o sole se ne scende. Ma nato sole, più bello in e, o sole mio sta in fronte a te e poi repeat repeat again yes. and again sta in fronte a te is on your face yes uh, no, my, my son is on your face yeah or ah. your face is my son my, yes my son or your face is my son yes yes so uh, yes. Can I, maybe i can read it in english first and then read the punjabi what a beautiful thing and and uh, of course you know I called my friend Francesca Rondinella uh, to work on the, Ita the Neapolitan pronunciation and she also taught me some of the words, typical Neapolitan meanings of that, which the English translation didn't have. Like, oh, no. is, oh girl, oh, is my girl, no. yes. <laughs> so, uh, it was, uh, I, you know, was very grateful that Francesca sent me, um, Rondinella sent me the audio of her reciting and I called Nello Del Gatto also, another Neapolitan. <laughs> friend so i worked with two three people to work on the pronunciation and i so anyway the english translation of this song goes what a beautiful thing is a day of sunshine a serene air after a storm um, because of the fresh air it already seems like a feast what a beautiful thing is a day of sunshine but there is another more beautiful sun oh girl my sun is on your forehead the sun my sun is on your forehead is on your forehead. The panes of your window are shining. A washerwoman is singing and is proud of herself. And while she is ringing, hanging and singing, the panes of your window are shining. And then the repeat that there is no more beautiful sun than you, a baby or a girl. The last paragraph is, when the night comes and the sun is setting, there is an almost melancholy that comes over me. I would stay below by your window when the night comes and the sun is setting. But then there is another uh, more beautiful sun, oh girl. My sun is your forehead. The sun, my sun, is on your forehead, is your forehead. So this is the rough translation of the English one, uh, of, of, uh, from, from the original Neapolitan, which is okay, okay, but anyway. So, what I, what I, so I read what I did in Punjabi. Uh, and it rhymes. I, I actually sang it in uh, in Punjabi as well. I compose. It, it just goes along with the melody. So I wrote it in a way that it goes with the melody. Chandni raat kahi suhavdi thisi. Chandni raat kahi suhavdi thisi. Taap si di pakhdi balan uprant. Thandi hawa manda jira triptave. Chandni raat kahi suhavdi thisi. चन नारो सोना है जे कोई नी अड़िए ओए गर्ल बिकम्स नी अड़िए वी आल्सो हैव अ टिपिकल एड्रेस टू द गर्ल और टू ए लवर चन नारो सोना है जे कोई नी अड़िए चन मेंडा मुखड़ा तेंडा वे चन्ना वे चन्ना मेंडिया मुखड़ा तेंडा चन टोटा मेंडा teri taaki da shisha lishka marda taaki da shisha lishka marda so there are many ways of calling uh, taaki is like a khidki 
or bari but i chose to use a very typical colloquial you know native uh, taki uh, uh-huh. very 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 rural taki da shisha lishka marda gaam di dhoban da joban dul dul penda nichad di o tang di joban raj raj sohile gaam di chan taki cho teri lishka marda aur aakhri paragraph last paragraph is ਸਾਜ ਪੈਂਦੀ ਸੂਰਜ ਢਲਦਾ ਘੋਰ ਹਨੇਰਾ ਮਨ ਵੈਰਾਗ ਦਾ ਸਾਜ ਪੈਂਦੀ ਸੂਰਜ ਢਲਦਾ ਘੋਰ ਹਨੇਰਾ ਮਨ ਵੈਰਾਗ ਦਾ ਤਾਕੀ ਥੱਲੇ ਤੇਰੀ ਤਾਕੀ ਥੱਲੇ ਮੈਂਡਾ ਰਵੇ ਟਿਕਾਣਾ ਤੇਰੀ ਤਾਕੀ ਥੱਲੇ ਮੈਂਡਾ ਰਵੇ ਟਿਕਾਣਾ ਸਾਜ ਪੈਂਦੀ ਸੂਰਜ ਢਲਦਾ so this is my <laughs> translation Probably. of that and it goes uh, if i may hum it in punjabi so that that's very rare in a way that people i don't think it's been sung in punjabi the song um aam chaandni raat ki hi sohavadi thi si ਚਾਨਣੀ ਰਾਤ ਕਹੀ ਸੁਹਾਵੜੀ ਥੀ ਸੀ ਤਾਪ ਦੀ ਪਖ ਦੀ ਬਲਨ ਉਪਰਾਂਤ ਠੰਡੀ ਹਵਾ ਮੈਂਡਾ ਜੀਆ ਤ੍ਰਪਤਾ ਵੈ ਚਾਨਣੀ ਰਾਤ ਕਹੀ ਸੁਹਾਵੜੀ ਥੀ ਸੀ ਚਾਨ ਨਾਰੋ ਸੋੜਾ ਹੈ ਜੇ ਕੋਈ ਨਹੀਂ ਅੜੀਏ ਚਾਨ ਮੈਂਡਾ ਮੁਖੜਾ ਤੈਂਡਾ my apologies really but this is how i mean <laughs> <laughs> you are so crazy i, I know <laughs> what works what works <laughs> it, it's not bad and the second one goes i mean aa ta ki dashi shalish ka mar da ਗਾਵ ਦੀ ਧੋ ਬੰਦਾ ਜੋ ਬਨ ਡੁਲ ਡੁਲ ਪੈਂਦਾ ਨਿਚੜ ਦੀ ਓ ਢੰਗ ਦੀ ਜੋ ਬਨ ਰਜ ਰਜ ਸੋਲੇ ਗਾਵ ਦੀ ਚੰਨ ਟਾਕੀ ਚੋਂ ਤੇਰੀ ਲਿਸ਼ਕਾ ਮਾਰਦਾ ਸਮ ਲਾਈਕ ਦੈਟ ਇਟ ਗੋਸ ਆਨ ਆਈ ਹੈਵ ਨਾਟ ਸੰਗ ਇਟ ਐਂਡ ਲਾਈਕ ਵਨ ਐਂਡ ਅ ਹਾਫ ਟੂ ਮੰਥਸ ਆਈ ਬੀਨ ਇਨ ਲੋਕ ਡਾਊਨ ਫੋਰ 55 ਡੇਜ਼ Uh, but uh, but the second stanza is very rarely sung only uh, you know one maestro i found uh, who who actually sang it uh, you know jack uh, caruso enrico caruso and others power of these they only sung the first and the third uh, paragraph the sec the second one allusion um, lostre da fenestra to ya nala vanara kanta sene vanta e padramente torce spanne kanta lushene lasri da vene saduya ma na ਕਿਉ ਬੈਲੋਈ ਨੇ ਓ ਸੋਲ ਮੀਆ ਸਾਨ ਵਰੰਦਾ ਦੇ ਓ ਸੋਲ ਓ ਸੋਲ ਮੀਆ ਸਾਨ ਵਰੰਦਾ ਦੇ 
Dan Ron Tade. So this is, I mean, my understanding of uh, the second stanza, which is very rarely sung. Yeah. And, but <laughs> this it's is different. what I'm best. <laughs> Pardon? Say that again. No, it's different uh, from the, the 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 original one. I think that uh, you know the original one, and that this is a, a new version. Uh, uh, the famous version is a new version of this uh, this uh, of this thing. Yeah, the, so. the, normally they sing. Uh, or, or, you know, uh, the, the, uh, for example, the first stanza is uh, uh, sung. Uh, you know. So this is uh, the first stanza, the way it is sung by everybody, like Andrea Bocelli, Pavarotti, mm -hmm. everybody yes. has sung this and then they go straight. They don't sing the second paragraph, which I just sang earlier. Then they go jump. No. I don't know why, because I think Enrico Caruso, when he sang in 1901 or two, uh, he, you know, the, the time duration of the records was not more than 180 or 200 minutes, uh, 200 minutes. So the first uh, stanza I calculated is 100 seconds, one part. So this total song is 200 seconds. So sing the third stanza or the, also the second one, uh, you will need 300 seconds. But they only had 200 seconds. Um, uh, yes, 200 seconds uh, that they had. That is, uh, 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 you know, three minutes and 20 seconds. Um, but they needed 100 more to be able to sing the three paragraphs. The length of that was not there. So Enrico Caruso chose the first and the last just because maybe he liked it. But then everybody is copying him. Everybody forgot about the second paragraph, mm. which I found only one maestro who sang it and forgetting the name. It will come. Uh, I'll, I'll, I'll remember it. And then go straight to and so on so forth. So this, the first and the third they sung, but the second one they never sang. Uh, even when they have time now, they could have sung and honored the whole poetry, but nobody does. So what I did is I recovered, I did research. It took me about a week, 10 days to work with the original text. Uh, Cheslov dug out from the uh, library because I required it and he went and searched for it. I worked with Francesca Rondinella to work on the translations, did the Punjabi notation in Gurmukhi of this musical text worked on it and then um, and then the uh, for, on a musicological note when you look at the second paragraph there's something that uh, fernando uh, i think is his name the, the one who's uh, uh, the second he sang the first and the second paragraph there's one movement musical movement he does which is not in the first and the third that's like a variation he makes uh, like pavarotti is famous for ma like that and everybody claps but there's something that uh, Fernando uh, de Lucia yes I remember the name now Fernando he recorded in 1924 uh, that is about 22 years or 23 years later 1921 actually uh, uh, he sings like for example goes regular regular then here this movement is so beautiful that he renders then he does another movement up there and 
normally everybody Kyubaloine and then also let me he does also let me so Nesani Dhamma he does a small movement the two variations he does over everybody else that is uh, it was very beautiful to look at the history from Enrico Caruso's writing uh, uh, singing first record to Fernando de Lucia's uh, discovery of that old record and discovering the second stanza and then of course watching Andrea Bocelli's and Pavarotti's and Brian Adams and you know everybody has sung it but Enrico Caruso wow that that guy is beyond I and mean, what he did in 1901 even when the recording was not so sophisticated uh, there's so much passion uh, I think you can see you can smell Napoli <laughs> you can you can uh, Touch Napoli of 1901 in Enrico Caruso's. Others are singing, you know, a bit Italian touch. They're like bourgeois kind of Neapolitan rendition is a little artificial at times I see. Uh, but um, anyway, I'm sorry I took a long time to share with this story with you all. <laughs> I'm sure you would be bored too, as, as would everybody else be. Oh. Thank you so much. Would you like to share uh, anything else before we sign off? I don't know. It's okay. It's enough. Okay. <laughs> okay. Thank, <laughs> thank you, you so much, Maria Grazia. I'll talk to you soon. And thank, thank you very much for joining thank us. You. Yeah. So, those two, Isan, uh, Isan uh, uh, Maria Grazia Calandrone, Jade Rome, to whatever day, Kabi Hange, to see on the Kaftama Sunia, to see the Kyake, Poho, Jada Haga, Onane Apni Arachnama, Sanu Parkis, Naya, or Onane Fejeri, Onata Angrezi, the Tarjumasi, Oma, Tordinal Sanja Kita, Firasi Jede, Shabbat Sun, Pan Shabbat, Jede, Guru Sabde, OC, Tordinal Sanja Kita, Onane Italian Jedi. Translation Kiti C, Gunanik de Maharaj Di Bani, Dajada, Angreji to Anwad, Dr. Gopal Singh, the Usta Tarjuma, Onane Fair, translate Kita C, Dora Tarjuma, uh, Ugly Mina de Vich, Jodomikul Sama Lakega, my O Angrezi Nutora, Hoti Karanga, Kunku, which could share Missile Hange, Musli Hange, Dr. Gopal Singh, the Gede, Rams Hangia, Gurgam Parampra, the O Januni Hange, another Akri Anwad. Oh, Jedi Ladi, a Gyan, the Chali on the Udenal, Saf Lagdana, the translation, Jonada, O source of information, Nasi, O Apuni on the Jedi Suj Buja, Jedi on the Pashadi, Jo Pakarzi, Ode Mutabuk, Unane, translation Kitia. So by Angrezi Rutura, Arth Jinak, Mere, Mere Jo Liakat had the Puriboti Summit for Diana Tia, the Sikhadi, Ayama, the Angrezi Tora, Sodke. Uh, Maria Grazia Kalandra Numa Fir Damanga, and she will obviously be finalizing the, uh, the, the, the uh, translations and being of Guru Nanak's compositions. Then we will, of course, we will publish them in a brochure when we do the next concert. To see Jude, I have a lot of questions. 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 I have a lot uh, Shastri Jada Sangita, ya classical Sangita, Europe, the Oda, the Nal, Asuna, Galbati, Kiti, which one Gian and Sunaya, Vikat Tanya, the Kanya, one Gian, Wakri Wakri Mukhalif today, and the Azan get Duff Day, Deaf Day, Wakri Wakri Namach, Wakri Wakri Akaranch, Jidao Tabdil Hoya, Yao the Uda, the Visar, Prasar Hoya, or Ude which Banandia, Bajandia Vidya, Banandia Vidya, Kitandia Sanon and Sanjia Kitya, one of the Apni Dadi de Jada, Unanukush. Gala the Sia Kamali, see you, Jada, Redeo, Rede Kaptama, Parkin, Al, Dafnu, Jandene, but I'll put Simonu Asaki to see Anandlia Hega, Seki Hoge, Jim, Mambra, Amir Hoyajvi, her road Amir Horia Sekda, or Ajfed Akili, Univi Petaxi Ajdi, O Maria Grazia Kalandrona, then Alhui, Unane, Apnia, Rach Namasunaya, Firona, and Gurbani, the Jadan Vadkita, Ovi Abdina Sanjakita, Meragalagula Betta, Torajama, Ton Gunaki, Gunbunaki, maybe. ਸੁਣਾਇਆ ਮਾਫ ਕਰਨਾ ਮੈਂ ਇਸ ਵੇਲੇ ਟੱਠਿਆ ਹੋਇਆ ਕੱਲਾ ਜਿਵੇਂ ਕਹਿੰਦੇ ਆ ਆਪ ਦੀ ਗੁਲਾਮੀ ਆਪ ਹੀ ਕਰ ਰਿਹਾ ਸੋ ਪਰ ਇਹ ਜਿਹੜਾ ਤੁਹਾਨੂੰ ਮੈਂ ਸਾਂਝਾ ਕਰ ਰਿਹਾ ਇਹ ਬੈਠਕ ਸੀਰੀਜ਼ ਦਾ ਬੜਾ ਔਖਾ ਕੰਮ ਹੈ ਮੈਂ 24 24 ਘੰਟੇ 30 30 ਘੰਟੇ ਮੈਂ ਲਗਾਤਾਰ ਲੱਗਾ ਹੋਇਆ ਮਸਾਂ ਕਿਤੇ 2 3 ਘੰਟੇ ਸੁਤਾ ਜਾਂ ਅੱਜ ਮੈਂ ਜਿਵੇਂ ਦੁਪਹਿਰ ਇਹ ਸਿਰਫ 1.5 ਘੰਟਾ ਅੱਖ ਲੱਗੀ ਹੈ ਔਰ ਫਿਰ ਮੈਂ ਕਰ ਰਿਹਾ ਅੱਜ ਦੀਆਂ ਦੋਨੋਂ ਬੈਠਕਾਂ ਦੀ ਜਿਹੜੀ ਉਹ ਡੈਫ
ਜਿਹੜੇ ਦੋ ਦੋਸਤਾਂ ਨਾਲ ਮੈਂ ਗੱਲ ਕੀਤੀ ਸੀ ਉਹਨਾਂ ਨੂੰ ਅੱਜ ਮੈਨੂੰ ਰਾਤੀ ਜਾ ਕੇ ਉਹਨਾਂ ਨੂੰ ਕਹਿਣਾ ਪਿਆ ਕਿ ਅੱਜ ਤੁਸੀਂ ਆ ਰਹੇ ਹੋ ਸੋ ਤੁਸੀਂ ਦੇਖ ਲਓ ਕਿ ਮੈਂ ਤਿੰਨ ਚਾਰ ਦਿਨਾਂ ਦਾ ਕੰਮ ਇੱਕ ਰਾਤ ਵਿੱਚ ਗੁਜ਼ਾਰਿਆ ਮਤਲਬ ਮਸਾਂ 15 18 ਘੰਟਿਆਂ ਦੇ ਵਿੱਚ ਇਹ ਸਾਰਾ ਜਿਹੜੀ ਅੱਜ ਦੀ ਪ੍ਰੋਡਕਸ਼ਨ ਹੈ ਕੀਤੀ ਹੈਗੀ ਹੈ ਤੁਸੀਂ ਯਾਦ ਰੱਖਣਾ ਪੇजेस ਜਿਹੜੇ ਨੇ ਸੋਸ਼ਲ ਮੀਡੀਆ ਦੇ ਮੇਰੇ ਟਵਿੱਟਰ ਦੇ ਉੱਤੇ ਪਾਈਬਲ ਦੀ ਫੇਸਬੁੱਕ ਦੇ ਉੱਤੇ ਪਾਈਬਲ ਦੀ ਸਿੰਘ ਕਰਕੇ ਔਰ ਪਾਈਬਲ ਦੀਪ ਕਰਕੇ ਜਿਹੜੇ ਹੈਗੇ ਨੇ ਔਰ YouTube ਦੇ ਉੱਤੇ ਮੇਰਾ ਚੈਨਲ ਹੈਗਾ ਜਿੱਥੇ ਪੋਸਟ ਹੋਣਗੀਆਂ ਪਾਈਬਲ ਦੀਪ ਸਿੰਘ ਕਰਕੇ ਸਬਸਕ੍ਰਾਈਬ ਕਰੋ ਫੋਲੋ ਕਰੋ ਲਾਈਕ ਕਰੋ ਸ਼ੇਅਰ ਕਰੋ ਤਾਂ ਕਿ ਇਹ ਜੋ ਆਪਾਂ ਬੈਠਕ ਕਰਦੇ ਪਏ ਆ ਸਾਰਿਆਂ ਤੱਕ ਪਹੁੰਚੇ ਔਰ ਸਾਰੇ ਦਾ ਆਨੰਦ ਲੈਣ ਜਿਹੜੇ ਵੱਡੇ ਵੱਡੇ ਵਿਦਵਾਨ ਹਨ ਕਿ ਉਹਨਾਂ ਦੀਆਂ ਜਿਹੜੀਆਂ ਦੱਸੀਆਂ ਗੱਲਾਂ ਨੇ ਉਹ ਤੋਂ ਸਿੱਖਿਆ ਹੈਗੀ ਹੈ ਕੋਈ ਮੈਨੂੰ ਆਪਣੀ ਨੁਮਾਇਸ਼ ਕਰਨ ਦਾ ਕਦੇ ਚਾਹ ਨਹੀਂ ਹੋਇਆ ਮੈਂ ਤਾਂ ਆਪਣੇ ਕਰੀਅਰ ਛੱਡ ਕੇ ਤਿਆਗ ਕਰਕੇ ਲੱਗਾ ਹੋਇਆ 33 ਸਾਲ ਹੀ ਹੋਏ ਨੇ ਬਸ ਪਰ ਤੁਸੀਂ ਇਸ ਬਹਾਨੇ ਪਰੰਪਰਾ ਔਰ ਵਿਰਸੇ ਨਾਲ ਇਨਸਾਨੀ ਜਿਹੜੇ ਦੁਨੀਆਵੀ ਹਿਊਮਨ ਹੈਰੀਟੇਜ ਹੈ ਵਰਲਡ 뮤직 ਹੈਰੀਟੇਜ ਹੈ ਪਰ 뮤직 ਦੇ ਵਿੱਚ ਹੀ ਸ਼ਬਦ ਹਨ ਕਿ ਕਵਤਾ ਇਸ ਯੂ نو ਪੋਇਟਰੀ ਐਂਡ ਪ੍ਰੋਜ਼ ਇਸ ਆਲ ਪਾਰਟ ਆਫ 뮤직 ਇਟ ਇਸ ਬੇਸਿਕਲੀ ਐਨ ਐਕਸਪ੍ਰੈਸ਼ਨ 뮤직 ਸਿੰਪਲੀ ਮੀਨਸ ਐਕਸਪ੍ਰੈਸ਼ਨ ਫॉर ਮੀ ਵੈਦਰ ਇਟ ਇਸ ਬਾਈ ਵੇ ਆਫ ਸਾਇਲੈਂਸ ਬਾਈ ਵੇ ਆਫ 뮤ਜ਼ਿੰਗ ਵਰਡਸ ਬਾਈ ਵੇ ਆਫ ਇ ਸਾਊਂਡ ਦ ਮੋਮੈਂਟ ਵੀ ਬ੍ਰੀਥ देयर ਇਸ ਸਾਊਂਡ ਐਨੀਵੇ ਆਪਣੀ ਸ਼ਰੀਰ ਵੀ ਆਰ ਆਲ ਬੇਸਿਕਲੀ ਏ ਏ ਫ੍ਰੀਕਵੈਂਸੀ ਅਸੀਂ ਇੱਕ ਫ੍ਰੀਕਵੈਂਸੀ ਹੀ ਹਾਂ ਦ ਮੋਮੈਂਟ ਦ ਫ੍ਰੀਕਵੈਂਸੀ ਚੇਂਜਸ ਗੋਸ ਆਊਟ ਆਫ ਟਿਊਨ ਵੀ ਗੈਟ ਸਿਕ ਸੋ ਜਿਵੇਂ ਅਸੀਂ ਪੁਰਾਣੇ ਨਾਲ ਦੀ ਜਿਹੜੀ ਵਿਧੀ ਹੈ ਉਹਦੇ ਵਿੱਚ ਸਮਝਦੇ ਆ ਸੋ ਮੈਨੂੰ ਬੜੀ ਖੁਸ਼ੀ ਹੈ ਕਿ ਅੱਜ ਪਹਿਲੀ ਕਵਤਾ ਦਾ ਜਿਹੜਾ ਦੀ ਬੈਠਕ ਹੋਈ ਹੈ ਆਉਣ ਵਾਲੇ ਦਿਨਾਂ 'ਚ ਮੈਂ ਹੋਰ ਵੀ ਜਿਹੜੇ ਵੱਡੇ ਵੱਡੇ ਕਵੀ ਹਨ ਕਿ ਆਪਣੇ ਪੰਜਾਬੀ ਦੇ ਵੀ ਕਵੀ ਹਿੰਦੀ ਦੇ ਵੀ ਕਵੀ ਮੈਂ ਮੰਗਲੇਸ਼ ਦਬਰਾਲ ਉਹਨਾਂ ਨੂੰ ਬੇਨਤੀ ਕਰਾਂਗਾ ਹਿੰਦੀ ਦੇ ਉਹ ਕਵੀ ਹਨ ਕਿ ਉਹਨਾਂ ਨੂੰ ਮੈਂ ਫੋਨ ਕਰਾਂਗਾ ਉਹਨਾਂ ਨੂੰ ਵੀ ਲੈ ਕੇ ਆਵਾਂਗਾ I hope that uh, uh, you will all uh, join in and sirf eh nahi ke sangeet hi sunna kaviyan nu kahani kara nu vi aap sunna hai ga aap nrutkara nu vi dekhna hai ga aap jehde story tellers han ke actor adakar han ke ohna nal vi main tadi roobroo karani hai ki hai so main aas karda hu tusi ise tarah nal pyar banaye rakhoge ardas karoge apne layi vi apne pyare layi vi sareyan layi vi jehde vich main vi ek hai ga main aage lena sat kartar khuda hafiz wagun ji ka khalsa wagun ji ki fateh Good night India, Bonanotte Italia.